Welcome back. A challenge to Missouri's ban on gender affirming health care for minors grinds on tonight. Yeah, the lawsuit seeks to block the state from enforcing the ban, which was signed into law last year. Our Missouri Capitol Bureau Chief Joe McLean reports tonight. What we're trying to do is protect children. That is what this is all about. It's not about adults. That was Governor Mike Parson last summer when he signed the state's ban on gender affirming care for minors into law. The claim that preventing this treatment is protecting kids is now being tested in court. Attorneys challenging the law say there's no evidence based reason for the state to restrict treatments supported by the mainstream medical community. Ultimately, this is about ensuring equal access to health care, equal protection of the law under the Missouri Constitution, and protecting the rights of parents to be able to make these decisions with their adolescent children and their medical providers. Attorney General Andrew Bailey's office declined an interview with me today, but referred me to a social media video in which Bailey insists that gender affirming care amounts to what he calls mutilation. They're victims of a system. So having the courage to call this what it is, to use the power of uh, the apparatus of your state statutes to, to go after the wrongdoers. Two medical experts testified today that gender affirming care treatments are safe, effective and not experimental. The state's attorneys argued the providers who testified are biased because they provide the same treatments. Only to the state of Missouri and without any sense of irony is actually having experience and expertise a conflict only to the governor, the attorney general, is that disqualifying. The case is expected to extend through next week. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, First Alert 4.